As you all can see, this is our setup, this is the prototype, solar collector, and our uh, Kesekin system is actually inside. Now, I'd just like to start by explaining you about the water cycle, uh, what we have right here. Uh, how this usually works, the, how, this, how we have devised the plan is, there's water, there's about two gallons of water in this uh, container. Uh, Joel is just hooking up the pump. We have a pump right here. Um, the water gets pumped up, goes through the PVC pipes all the way on the panel. Now this is a solar collector. This is called, it has a copper tube inside. It's heating the, it's, it's, it's sending the heat up. And this is what where the car, you know, the blue car inside of the tube. Which one? You know, the, oh, the that's, a, that's just a covering. Inside is a copper tube. It's going for the uh, to to avoid reflection. To attract more solar uh, rays. Uh, the water goes through the panel over here. It actually starts getting heated right up here. And it comes through the outlet, which is connected to the heat exchanger, which is actually the radiator of a car. So, hot water to hot air. And the hot air actually goes inside. Um, it gets passed through a, uh, uh, through, passes through a fan, which is then sent into the desiccant. And that's where our actual cooling starts. And uh, if Joel wanted to explain about uh, the desiccant system. Um, well, yeah, we're going to take this off. There's actually uh, two wheels in here. There's a desiccant we like uh, to show you material in here. Uh, we're going to take this off in a second. Um, and then there's another one that has like fan, fan blades on it. Um, that's actually... Uh, they both bring the humidity level down. The one with the fans on is also going to try and it's going to cool down the air. Um, so we have the the bottom process is where the, uh, the hot air is actually taking place, where the, the heat exchanger is. So yeah, the the water is going to heat it up, and then it comes the the that actually that process actually like regenerates the uh, dust and material so it's back to like its normal state, so it doesn't dry out um, from the humidity level drop. Um, and then on the top is this air going through, and it goes through the first uh, first desiccant wheel, um, which drops the humidity level down. Um, and the temperature goes up a little bit, uh, but then it goes through the second wheel, which has uh, fans on it, um, which we're still trying to finish that up. Um, and that actually cools it down, so uh, it drops the humidity level. Um, yeah, the fans in there just to blow the air through. Um, and then we're also going to try and pull the air a little better so that it doesn't um, take up, so it doesn't go in the whole box, it just goes through like uh, about fourth of the wheels um, so that um, it just, it's more efficient that way. Um, yes, you come down to the it, so, uh, We all invite one of you to uh, take a look at the system. That's the testing wheel. One of the things that we're still missing, we have to make this airtight. As Joel said, we have to, some of the, the uh, on the bottom, which is the uh, heating cycle, um, we have to just project the uh, hot air on that one. This is where the uh, intake, and this is where the outtake, the, the um, I'm sorry, the, the, um, the outlet of the uh, air is. What we typically do with the testing, we have this um, temperature hygrometers, and we just check the, the uh, humidity and temperature at the inlet, and we check it out here. That's where you have the, uh, the, um, the, the humidity drop. And what we can do, and what, we, what we're thinking of, and this is the, uh, the uh, sensible heat uh, transfer wheel. We, we might actually think of doing a humidification process, but we, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it performs the way we, we've designed it. But so far, you know, we, we we already have all the setup to start doing some testing. What we need to do is, um, first of all, seal it up, funnel the air, and then we'll we'll, we'll see how it how it uh, turns out. This is the prototype setup, and we still have to do a lot of testing on this as to how much cooling can we do and how much how how big a room or how big a size can be actually cooled down. So we're gonna work on that in the next uh, one week. You want to have a desk on the Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. So yeah. The it's silica gel. This material, this is the silica gel, which is actually in desiccant. Okay. The dehumidification. So the air is meant to pass through these. Our one photo of our wheel does not have desiccant. We are going to order some more. So 70% of the wheel is covered with desiccant. Okay. And we are going to have a mechanism which we can rotate this wheel. If not, we will just do it manually. 
But uh, the way the desiccant humidification works is that these wheels rotate so that there is regeneration of air. Okay. What's the difference between uh -huh. your design okay. of the desiccant wheel and the commercial one? We don't know yet until we test it. Uh, I mean, the, the, in terms of uh, the shape. The, the shape the, well the, the shape is actually very different because what they do, they have a honeycomb structure inside mm -hmm. that actually holds all the, uh, the desiccant. Mm -hmm. So it, it is possible that R has a higher pressure drop just because of that. It's just, it's just so they, in, in their design. case, they, they, you know, the desiccant material is pretty much stick yeah, to it's some it's kind right. of... They have, yeah, they have a honeycomb structure and they just put the desiccant in there and it doesn't move, it's just like static. We were thinking of doing some other designs, probably putting some fiber in there so that it holds the desiccant mm -hmm. and it spreads it out, but we still have the, the, the problem of when we rotate it, uh, it might shift. Mm -hmm. so how does the heat exchange you know, happen to here? Can you explain this a little one, bit more? Sure. Mm -hmm. what, what I was trying, what, what I'm trying to do is basically the um, when when the uh, the air from the cooler air from the room comes in here, which is at a higher humidity, mm -hmm. um, gets in, in contact with it, it, it um, it'll cool it down, and with the uh, the air, it'll just do a do a do like a transfer cycle. And by adding things, you know, we're, we're trying to transfer as much heat from here into the air that's going out to the, to the outside of the room. So, I mean, we're not, we're not, the, the problem with this, with the, I'm using aluminum for the wheel. One of the problems is that aluminum is kind of hard to weld. It, it, since it's, it's thin, we cannot do it with, with a lot of things. We, we probably, I was trying to use different kinds of welding, but mm -hmm. I, I couldn't get it to stick. So I'm using rivets. I didn't want to use any kind of glues or anything like that because it'll, it'll, it will, it will basically not transfer as much heat as I wanted to. So the the hot, you know, the hot air comes out from this. No, no, no. The the um, the hot the hot air it comes from here. There's the um, the uh, heat exchanger on the if bottom. You can see from here. Yeah, the air comes in here. It's kind of together, but there's another fan just like this on the bottom side, mm -hmm. and there's also the radiator on the bottom side, which these hoses are hooked up to. So one of those inlet has the outlet for the water, and then it just gets heated up from the uh, collector. So, the so this is a basically the fan? Right, yes, there's the a fan there, there's another one underneath it. Right, and then there's the, the heat exchanger, the radiator. Mm. It's right inside. If you, you can see it from here. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, we have this axis which holds the entire uh, body together, mm -hmm. and uh, we have to do. We did get a testing only with the desiccant, which says that after the air passes through the desiccant wheel, the the temperature rises, but the humidity comes down. Mm -hmm. uh, but we still have to test it with this setup right now. So, so that we'll be able to actually the complete this one within the two weeks. We we hope so. Uh, I think so. I mean, the only thing okay. we need to do is just. Keep testing it. Finish the uh, heat transfer wheel. Okay. We have uh, <coughs> different kinds of uh, desiccant material. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna. Yeah, we we have actually another yeah, we have wheel, wheels. and we have a different kind of desiccant material. Okay. This is just like a gel. We have um, uh, I forget the whole name, but it's a clay type of uh, desiccant. Right. It's mm -hmm. got almost the same. It's, uh, yeah. it's the same, same properties, properties of desiccant. This is the gel. How much was the desiccant in the Um it was a silica gel or what is yeah, it? Yeah, silica that's silica gel. Uh, we bought about uh, twenty pounds, mm -hmm. ten pounds of uh, silica gel and ten pounds of the other one, so about seventy dollars. How much? Seventy pounds. Seventy dollars. Not bad. We still might need to order some more because it's just seventy percent of the wheel that is covered with desiccant. and mm -hmm. we want it to be with So your your hot air will dry that silica gel, right? right. Yeah. Exactly. That's the function of the desiccant to dehumidify. So that is for it right now. Any, Any questions? questions? Okay. Yep. Thank you.